Hey, what's going on? What's going on, everyone? What's going on? It is Monday, June 10th, 2019. Coming off a solid weekend. Summertime is here, and we're enjoying it while we can. All right, guys, what's going on? What's going on? So, listen, we had a pretty strong week in the market last week. I literally across the board from Monday to Friday. Pretty much the market was in a nice, solid, solid uptrend rampage, actually. And uh, overall, I mean, you know, sector-wise, you know, you had a few, few um, securities obviously getting, you know, selling off um, in certain sectors, but that's always going to happen whenever you have a strong bullish market. It's a very nice opportunity for uh, the boys to dump shares, you know, in stealth mode. So um, you always want to keep a close eye on opportunities like that because when they happen, they happen very, very nicely. So, um, you know, there's always opportunities to upside or downside despite the overall sentiment, as we always say. Um, but we have a few uh, going into our session. We got five going into our session. Uh, we got a couple, a couple of ones that uh, we like to the upside, some longs. But uh, overall, you know, patience. Uh, I've been stuck in some of these uh, securities, and some are setting up. So let's get into what we got going on. So we're going to kick it off with SBGI. SBGI, as you can see, over there, has been had that run up uh, in the beginning of May, gap up, and then it's been kind of fading out. So uh, it's, it looked pretty weak on Friday. And uh, we anticipate that it's going to um, reach this our 50 target level, um, pr probably high probability, uh, if uh, not by uh, middle of the week. So we're going to stay diligent with our 50 and um, stick with that. And again, keep mitigating risk if we have to. ARWR, as you can see, it's been on a rampage to say the least. Nice, serious, solid run for these guys, Arrowhead Pharmaceuticals. But it's finally coming up to its all-time high of the uh, 2763 level so definitely anticipate that run to that level and probably gonna break right through that not I'm, we're not anticipating a breakout that's for sure but you know you're gonna suck in some breakout traders and then we're gonna see probably some shares dump on the share on the marketplace so I uh, anticipate the run to the the all-time high of the 2763 level and then some trading above maybe it may reach 28 29 but you're going to see that reversal. So I um, like to see the upside until um, that level is breached and then wait for that curl to the downside. So we may have a you know, change in our sentiment uh, throughout the day, but um, that's what we're looking at um, for ARWR. Uh, MGNX, um, again, you know, I've been selling off since it's a uh, gap up in February. It's slowly fading out. Had a little bit, quote unquote, strong day. I mean, close 40 cents up, so not nothing really to write home about. I mean, ATR is very low as well. But uh, we just like to fade, you know, on, on the uh, technical chart. There's no um, strong support level for this thing to hold on to. So um, I dance around this level for a little bit. But overall, we definitely like it to the 12 level. And uh, we'll be diligent with this thing. So next up, AYX. AYX, again, one, one of these things that uh, ran into its all-time high. And, uh, you know, put in the, that uh, on the daily, put in that inverted hammer. So, um, you know, it... it couldn't sustain its level all day. We kind of trade below view app and you know slowly put in lower highs and lower lows. Um, you know, it, we may anticipate a little bit of uh, action in the morning above view app, but if we see that reversal uh, relatively early in the morning, we're going to obviously mitigate risk and and uh, anticipate the uh, trade below view app and fading out to the uh, uh, 90 level. That's what we got going on right now. That last up, ZM. ZM obviously you know ran up uh, on Friday. Traded pretty much sideways all day. Um, but again, uh, not strong enough, not showing technically that it's going to continue running. It might just be in a pause right now. It may continue to try to break that 100 level. Very, very big possibility. If so, if it continues to show some strength, then obviously, you know, we'll step aside. And if it gives us a nice uh, opportunity signal to the upside, we'll maybe open a position. But uh, if not, we'll wait for the backside to fit, uh, set in. But uh, if it does set in, we left it like the 90 level. But that's it, guys. That's what we got going on. Um, you know, we have five going into our session, uh, both to the long side and to the downside. Um, that's what our sentiment is. You know, again, could change throughout the day. Obviously, we're waiting for some backsides to happen and for some uh, all-time highs to be breached and fade out. So uh, we'll, t we'll anticipate and take advantage of these moves while we can. So in, at all, guys, if you want to check out the site, come check out the site at thestreettrading.com. Help you answer the question why. If you want to learn how we're, you know, trading these uh, charts and how we're picking our watch list, answers. Uh, ask, ask us any question you guys like on the markets. 
definitely here for you answering any questions and we will get to you as soon as possible i right, guys have a great day in the market stay very diligent with your stops respect your setups and be patient with levels all right guys have a great day in the market we will check you later